everyone, it is Jessica and I am so glad to be back. Um, I am pre-filming a lot of videos so that it is not, a, you know, a long time in between videos from here on. I am so sorry guys. I went on vacation and oh, we've had a hurricane and that's enough of the updating. Regardless, I'm glad I am back and it will not take so long for me to put out another video. Okay. That being said, in today's video, uh, we're going to talk about a question that I get a lot, and it's how many planners can you use? I guess people are meaning how many planners can you use at one time. So that's going to be uh, my interpretation of the question. How many planners can you use at one time? And the answer to that question, along with how many planners I use at one time, is coming up. So if you want to learn all there is to know about that subject, keep on watching. Okay, so a lot of questions come in through comments and YouTube and in person uh, when I interact with my friends in a planner group and our local planner group is very active and we get a lot of questions in there and so one of the questions that I see a lot is how many planners do you use or how can you use so many planners at once and really it all boils down to one thing and that one thing is that planning is so personal. It's extremely personal. The style that you do, the pens that you use, the covers you use, are you in a ring bound planner or a moleskin or a traveler's notebook? Are you using a vertical layout, a horizontal layout? Um, are you using a day timer from like Staples? You know, everything under the sun. It's so extremely personal, down to the paper that you, you prefer. Um, and that's what I love about planning, and that's what um, I have learned over, well, about the past two years uh, that I've been doing planning on, on this level of planning. I actually looked on my YouTube in May, uh, I believe it was May 16th of last year was the very first video I ever put on YouTube, so that was pretty cool. So I've at least been in this gig that long, you know, uh, but it, it was actually June, I believe it was June of, of 2016 when I got into planning. Anyways, long story short, I have come to find out that planning is personal. So I'm going to tell you how I use multiple planners and how many planners one person can use at a time. So my interpretation is you can use as many planners as you can actually use. If you have seven planners going and they're all for different things, you know, you've got your home planner and your sports planner and a planner for your kids and a planner for work, you know, that's four planners right there. And then you have, you know, a personal planner just for you and a planner for this and a planner for, for this club and that group and a planner for your books. Hey, you can have 10 planners going at a time. For me, two and a journal. And most of the time, not even the journal. The journal has to be in one of these. Two is about my limit. After two, I get sidetracked. I forget about it. I let it sit there and then it, I feel like it's wasted. So, for me, I use two. These are the two that I'm using. This one is a new one. It's a new size. But um, I use these two. This is a little sneak peek into my September setup because you guys, unless you follow me on Instagram, you haven't seen it. Um, this is a pocket size deluxe uh, Chic Sparrow. It is in Outlander leather. The color is Time Traveler. This is a Chic Sparrow. It is a B6, not a B6 Slim. This is my first B6. I'm going to go ahead and tell you that I, I adore it. it. It's amazing. All the hype 
that it's out there going on about B6. Totally feed into it because it's an awesome size. So, um, this is a B6. This is the honey color and it is Pemberley and it does have an inscription down here that says stay determined. Normally, I don't get inscriptions, but I bought this off of a friend. Um, she bought it off of a buy sell trade group, I think, and decided she really loved the size, but she wanted to order one brand new. Um, we do that a lot, us planner girls. I'll buy something secondhand, even see if I like it, and then I'll invest something. So that's what she did. Anywho, um, I really do love this B6 size. So, let's get into what I use them for. So, this planner, the pocket planner, goes with me everywhere. It is my EDC, which is Everyday Carry. Um, it has my main planner, my church planner, my menu planner, my notes, all of that. This is my brain. This keeps me organized home life, shop life. It's my, if anyone has ever done uh, Fly Lady, I got into Fly Lady, I think it was in July. I did a full month of the Fly Lady, fell in love, and in August I started a Facebook group any of you guys can join it. It's called Chucktown Fly Ladies. Um, I can put a link down below. If if you if enough people comment on it and they don't find the group, then I will. We did the 31 baby steps. Anyway, it's not a very active group anymore. It was a one-time like challenge thing. Anyway, I wanted to make a cool group. So, go join the Chucktown Fly Ladies and post pictures of your fly lady routines or something. Let's get the group going. Um... Anywho, this is the control journal. So this has my cleaning routines, my trackers for cleaning, my shop planner. Also has a journal insert that I haven't started yet. You guys know my journal journey. And I can't even put it into words. You guys know. I start it, then I quit. I start, then I quit. I start, then I quit. Anywho. Um, so this is really cool. So, let's start with the main planner. So, um, I use Traveler's Notebooks, of course. I also have used uh, Erin Condren's and Happy Planners and Ring Bound Planners, but that was short-lived. Um, but I do use two at a time. One is my stay-at-home control journal. One is my main planner. So, my main planner has... This first insert is a church insert. And I feel like I've made a video similar to this before. But I have to have an insert just for my church stuff. Do I use it every day? No. But it is handy to have an insert that is separate from my main day-to-day -day planner insert. That I can list out. This is, this is stuff that I have to do whenever I go to the church. This is stuff that I, I have to clean this. I have to organize that. I have to make sure I get my shopping list done. This done, that done, this done, that done. It's so much easier to have it all in one place than it is to have it spread out through my main planner insert. So I always have this book, um, this insert in there for that. Okay. Then my second insert is my main planner insert. Now I use this to track out what I'm doing each day. I use the calendar to keep track of birthdays, when I have to go to church, um, meetups, stuff like that. Important events that are going on during the week or during the month rather that I know ahead of time. I haven't really figured out what I'm doing with this tracker yet but I'll get there eventually. And then let's flip to let's flip to one of these days. That was really good. So I put if I'm gonna sleep in, have a lazy morning. Let me zoom you guys in a little bit so you can see. 
I do put if I'm gonna have a lazy morning, we slept in this day, and then I mapped out that I was gonna have shop hours from nine to about 6.30. Put which plants I'm gonna water, the weather. Over here, I put that I watched the Apple Keynote. Who is excited about that iPhone X? Yes, I cannot wait to get it. The camera on that thing is gonna be amazeballs. Um, so I did some planning and watched the keynote. And then I planned that I was going to clean up. Then I planned that I had to leave at the church on this day. And this is a list of things to do that I had to get done that day. I was trying, I'm trying to keep track of my water, y'all. I'm trying to go, I'm trying to do this fitness pal thing. <sighs> Dieting is not easy. But I guess if it was, we'd all be skinny, right? So... Um, I do, if I'm having a crafty day, I will plan that out and do like a top three. I really liked this top three idea. In fact, I continued it on to this week coming. So, once I, what I actually do on my daily is literally plan out how my day is going to go. My weekly, I do overviews of days that I want to do computer work, days I have to go to the church, you know, things like that. Put out my menu. If I have any phone calls I need to make, I like to plan out my day hour by hour, okay? That's how I like to do things. So, I have pre-planned this coming week. With half boxes and fun boxes, then I will plan out next week as we go. So, the next insert that I have is my meal planning insert. And this is where I do all of my meal plans. So, I have to have a meal planning insert. I have to have a daily insert. And this is just a note. You know, just for notes. Videos to film and all of that jazz. And that's for mostly when I'm like out on the go. And then this insert back here is just random, you know, paper. Just jot, jots of paper. So, that is how I use this. This um, planner goes with me every day. And I look at it on the daily. I normally have this one and my control journal laying out on my counter um, so that I can refer to them on the daily. So that is that notebook. This is, like I said, it's my control journal. Y'all, I'm so excited about this pen. I had to use it. This is the new um, Pilot Vanishing Point pen. I'll go into details about it. It's the Crimson Sunset. You should look up. But um, in my favorites video, I'm going to go into more into that. So, um, the B6, I decided to use an old TPS kit, I think from April. One that wasn't my favorite, but that I still wanted to use. And these are the new Chic Sparrow dashboards. Oh, they are heaven, y'all. Heaven. Um, I love how... This is not supposed to be a product review video. But um, the spine, it's like um, they have the, it's more stable. Um, Foxy Fix and Dashboards is the only other dashboards that I use. And when they go together, sometimes they can go crooked um, and fold at the spine in a weird way. And this is just more stable so that it stays perfectly round. And I love that. Um, I love that, and I love how the uh, the pocket is here. So, if you are in the lookings for some dashboards, I highly recommend the um, Sheet Sparrow ones. Okay, so uh, this is my Fly Lady daily routine tracker, and you'll see that there are definitely some bald spots up in my tracker. There's a lot of stuff that has fallen off the bandwagon since I got home from vacation. Then we had a hurricane. I used to do every single one. You'll see for a long time I did every single one 
and I've slacked off, but I'm getting back on the bandwagon. Anywho, um, my, this is broken down into three separate sections of the day. The yellow is the morning routine that I do as soon as I get up. Um, I do all of this stuff, and then the pink is the afternoon, and then this teal color down here is the before bed routine. So it starts after lunch and can go, I mean, you really can do any of this stuff, you know, in the morning if you really wanted to. But um, first thing, because I know you probably can't see it, it says make the bed, get dressed to shoes, eat breakfast, which you'll see eat breakfast is the one thing that I don't do. Um, consistently uh, let's see empty the dishwasher and then check my calendar which I do to see if there's anything pressing that needs to be done that day or if I can kind of um, make my own schedule for that day start a load of laundry and then do a swish and swipe in the main bathroom which is my downstairs bathroom basically swish the toilet around with some cleaner and uh, wipe down the sink and the toilet so, I do that first thing in the morning. Then, first thing in the morning, I also, well, at least before 11, decide what is for dinner. If I need to pull something out of the freezer or something like that, I take care of that. Do a little 15 minutes decluttering. I pick a spot, set an alarm for 15 minutes, and do a little decluttering. And then, by this time, the laundry is done. And um, it has already been moved over from the wash machine to the dryer. And then I put it away. I put laundry away straight away or it doesn't get done. It will sit on top of my dryer or on my couch for days if I don't do it right away. Uh, then before bed, sometime before bed, I will lay out the clothes for tomorrow if I have to leave my house or if I'm doing something specific, I put things where I need them. So my purse and my planners, my planners go on my kitchen counter. Um, that's where they stay on my high bar. And then that's like my control center type area. My purse goes on the, on the wet bar or buffet, whatever you want to call it. That's where my purse goes. And if I'm going to, like, the church, I will put my laptop in my laptop bag and put it beside my purse. If I'm going to meet somebody, I will put whatever it is that I need the next day, I will put it on the buffet beside my purse. I clean off the hot spot for, for two minutes, which is typically my dining room table or the buffet or the um, kitchen counter. I do not go to bed, well, it's rare that I go to bed and I don't shine my sink. Um, it's only happened three, three nights, four nights this month. So, every other night I make sure that I have washed the dishes either by hand or have loaded the dishwasher. That I've turned the dishwasher on before I go to bed. Um, and that I have washed all the dishes and dried them all and put them all away. I wipe down my counters before I go to bed and I try and quick back or sweep the floor so that there's no crumbs or anything. And I typically try to do that before 8 o'clock, 8 or 9 o'clock, you know, before I sit down and rest for the evening. I like to have the kitchen cleaned up. So... Just in case you want to know what the Fly Lady stuff is about, that's what that's about. So that's what that is. In October, I'm going to be using this as a goals, you know, for house cleaning, house organization, you know, decorating for fall, things like that. Then we go into, this is an Annie Plans insert. I'm going to move to, I will do this coming week. So on the monthly page i went ahead and wrote out all the zones my table keeps moving sorry guys so week one is zone one week two is zone two week three is zone three week four is zone four week five is zone five um and 
if you guys want me to do a video on Fly Lady, I will. There's really a ton of videos on Fly Lady already. I love uh, Diane in Denmark, and I think it's Fly Lady Kate, I believe. Um, Diane in Denmark, if you guys want, she's on YouTube, she's on Instagram, she is amazing. She shows her videos on how to do the baby steps and all of this. So, I won't go into all of that, but um, the Fly Lady breaks different areas of your house into a zone and you concentrate cleaning on that one zone so that you don't have to spring clean your house and your house is always company ready. Um, my house cleaning has definitely changed over the past few months and I now do not have to speed clean to have company over at all. So that part I enjoy. So, what I normally do is right at the top, this is for next week, um, I write up at the top what zone it is, and then I have my power hour, which is the one hour of cleaning, like heavy cleaning that I do each week, and it's not even that heavy of a cleaning. I vacuum all the carpets upstairs and downstairs. Um, I have microfiber cloths. I wet them and I wipe down the back glass doors, the front glass door, and all the mirrors and any glass surfaces, TV, um, pictures, things like that. Wipe them down really quick. Then I take the same rag and I will wipe down uh, furnitures and any dust that's anywhere. I get the um, Swiffers and I Swiffer dust everywhere else. I will empty all the trash in my office, my bathroom, my kitchen upstairs or downstairs and then the two bathrooms and the loft area upstairs. Empty all of that, take it out, pull down any of the towels that's in the bathroom that are dirty, bring them downstairs. I clean the bathroom upstairs, wipe down my master bathroom and pick up my closet, make sure that it is tidy, and I just do a guest bed refresh, which is where I just dust, shake out the comforter, shake out the pillows, make sure it's, it's not dusty. So I do that on Mondays, because that is my weekly home blessing on Mondays. I do a power hour downstairs. I do my menu plans, and I do 30 minutes of zone cleaning. Tuesday is free day. I do my church day on that day. Uh, get groceries, go to the post offices if I need to, and um, any shop stuff. You know, that's the shop day. Uh, my desk day where I do anything, any paperwork for my husband that needs to be handled, I have a desk day. I do a power hour upstairs, and I do zone cleaning for an hour on that day. Um, Thursday is errand day, so I keep a list over here of what errands need to be run, and I do zone cleaning for about an hour, 30 minutes to an hour on this day. Um, Friday is my office day, clean out my car, clean out my purse, and zone catch up. So any cleaning that is not finished, I will finish it on Thursday. Then Saturday is family day. Sunday is New Year's Spirit Day. That's the Fly Lady days. I find if a system works, why change it? You know what I mean? So I have an insert in there for September. I already have my insert for August almost done. And that is in one dashboard. The second dashboard is my lists. And this is my bills. So I use one page for business bills one page for my bills and personal bills. So that is in one insert. This second dashboard here says follow your heart. And this is from Paper Penguin Co. It is a white grid insert to Moe River. And then this is my shop insert. 
And I really, I like this insert, but it's not exactly what I was thinking it was when I purchased it. I think I purchased the wrong one. Um, it has, this is supposed to be for the shop. And I haven't used it really very much because it's, I'm used to a week and then um, a page for that week. So the, the dailies I really don't use, but um, I did have a list of stuff that I'm filming. And, you know, that's why I said when I'm getting ahead, I'm getting ahead. You know what I mean? So uh, that is my shop insert. But actually, this is what the shop insert actually looks like. It's normally three months. And it... Um, have the monthly so I can mark out what days are film days. I have a tracker so that I can track. Um, I haven't decided what I'm going to track yet, but I'm going to use that. Um, I have a goals page or notes page or however you want to use that. And then we have the weekly so that I can mark out uh, certain days. And then I have a whole grid page here that I can use for whatever I want to use it for. And this insert specifically has all the weeks like that. And then it has November and December the same layout. So that is that insert. Moving right along, the last insert is the perpetual calendar you guys have seen this before and it is where I plan out what videos are coming out on what day and that way I can tell when things need to go up and then this is my um, bullet journaling insert from Annie plans and it's where I can mark out an index you know what guys hold on one second I'm gonna sneeze Woo! Okay, glad I caught that before I blew your ears. <laughs> um, so this insert here I just use for um, church notes, video ideas, staff meeting, hurricane prep and pack, like what I would pack if I'm leaving to evacuate, more videos to film. Um, and then sermon notes and the rest of this I haven't filled out yet and that's the back so I've, I've walked you through my planners but I guess I really haven't addressed the actual question and that's because there's really no answer to this question uh, how many planners you can use it is a free world I guess you can say um you can use as many planners as you want. For me personally, I can only use two. That's all I can get out of my brain. Uh, but if you can use three and you're actually using them, um, they're working for you and they are keeping you more organized, then the answer would be three. If that's five, the answer would be five. Um, but if you have three different planners going and uh, you're writing the same thing in all three that's just a waste of time and in my opinion now some people can do that and um, they can keep track of everything and, and it's fun to them and by all means continue doing that but to me I would rather write it once that's why you don't see two main inserts or two church inserts or you know, multiple of the same. Um, they Every insert is different and everything has its own purpose. So, do what you can do to make your life easier, to make your life more organized, and do today what you can do today. Don't put it off to tomorrow. Um, and I say that in a light spirit, I guess you could say. It's not that deep, you guys. It is all planners, and it's all just fun. You know, organize yourself, keep yourself busy, keep yourself happy, keep yourself um, also 
open enough to where you can make time for yourself and your hobbies and your family and things that make you happy. Um, I know this video, I've repeated myself a lot. I'm definitely rambling at this point. Um, but I'm getting back in the swing of things. So um, sound off down below. Let me know what you think. Let me know um, how you like the B6 size. If you've tried it. Um, or if you've tried pocket, or if you've even moved into a different size, that would be fun too. All right, as always guys, have a blessed one, and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.